There's no doubt about it. Puberty is pretty daunting. Your body is changing faster than you can keep up, and even though everyone goes through it eventually, it can feel incredibly lonely, with no one to talk to or relate to. Some kids are all too keen to put their childhood behind them, and can't wait to start puberty. But for others, it can be a waiting game as their friends grow up way faster than they do. So how do you know when it's your time? Stick around to find out. Hello and welcome to my channel, where we share tips and tricks about all things puberty. If this is your first time here, make sure to turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on our weekly updates. Now let's jump straight in. There are a lot of changes girls go through during puberty and some of them can be a little subtle. For most girls, puberty begins around the age of 8, but it's not overly noticeable at this stage as all the changes begin in the brain. At the start of puberty, our brains release a special hormone called gonadotropin-releasing hormone, or GNRH for short. This hormone builds up, triggering the creation of other puberty hormones like luteinizing hormone, follicle-stimulating hormone, testosterone, and estrogen. The hormones travel through the bloodstream and begin to affect different parts of your body depending on your biological sex. Now, you may have heard of testosterone and estrogen before. Boys get the testosterone for muscles and facial hair, and girls get estrogen for breasts and wider hips, right? Well, kinda. At the start of puberty, both boys and girls get a surge of testosterone to aid in the rapid growth of their bodies. It's responsible for our tween growth spurt. The female body, however, converts the excess testosterone into estrogen, the female sex hormone responsible for the more obvious signs of puberty. Speaking of obvious signs, one of the first things you might notice as a girl is the development of breast buds. They're firm little lumps of breast tissue that start to grow underneath the nipple. Breast buds can be tender, sore, and even itchy at times. They can be visible, especially underneath tight clothing or swimsuits, and this can be a good time to start thinking about wearing a training bra. The best part about puberty is all this new hair, said no one ever. Hair will begin to pop up in places it never used to be, and the first time you find a small dark hair in a new spot, it may come as a surprise. The first place you might notice hair growing is on your vagina. The hair will be thin, relatively soft, and for many, a little lighter than the hair on the rest of your body. But it's a dead giveaway that puberty is on the way. But it's not just your privates that will have all the fun. You'll find hair sprouting up under your armpits, inner thighs, and legs. If you've ever looked at the inside of your underwear and noticed a bleaching or mild discoloration on the fabric, there's no need to freak out. As puberty progresses, your vagina will begin to secrete a tiny amount of whitish or clear sticky fluid that helps keep everything healthy downstairs. This is perfectly normal and in fact represents a healthy reproductive system. The next fairly obvious sign is a bit of a stinker, literally. When you begin puberty, your sweat glands become more active, especially under your arms. If you've noticed that your dirty gym clothes can clear a room or people refuse to sit next to you on the train after sports practice, you may have a body odor issue. It's a good time to start showering more and investing in a good antiperspirant deodorant. The next sign of puberty can be difficult to face. Acne, spots, pimples, pizza complexion, whatever you call it, the oily, pussy condition seems to come for us all. For girls, acne can start to develop around the ages of 10 to 13, with varying severity depending on diet, hygiene, and genetics. Some of us can skip through puberty virtually unscathed, while others endure years of painful breakouts. Check out our other videos on acne and the perfect skincare routine for girls for more on this topic. Links in the description below. For girls, menstruation or their period is the definitive is the definitive and final sign that you're going through puberty. As a general rule, girls will get their first period around 12 years old, but it can start as early as 8 and as old as 16. Periods happen when the uterus sheds its lining and the byproduct is expelled through the vagina in the form of blood. This happens every 28 days, accompanied with cramps, mild mood swings, and 3-5 to five days of bleeding. Your first one will no doubt come as a surprise, but after that, make sure you keep a handful of painkillers and stack of pads close by for those unexpected accidents. There's a good chance all the boys left when I started talking about vaginal secretions, so for the ones still here, thanks for sticking around, because now it's all about the boys. Boys can expect things to kick off around ages 9 to 10, with a similar swirl of sex hormones flooding the body. Testosterone triggers rapid growth in the bones, muscles, and downstairs. 
One of the first things you might notice is the swelling and reddening of the testicles as they grow and drop further from the body. Boys develop estrogen too, although not as much as girls, and one of the effects it has in early puberty is the swelling of male breast tissue. It's not overly noticeable, but the area can be tender and painful in some cases. It's not the same as man boobs and generally goes away after a few weeks. Around the same time, just like the girls, you'll start to notice the addition of new hair under the armpits, light facial hair, and of course pubic hair. Within a year, this hair will darken, become coarser, and for the hair down there, it may even start to turn curly. With hair comes sweat, and with sweat comes body odor. It doesn't matter how clean and fragrant you were before puberty, being smelly is just a part of growing up. But you don't have to be the stinky kid. Showering regularly and using a high-quality antiperspirant should take care of it. And while we're on the hygiene train, keep in mind that acne doesn't discriminate. It's just as much a part of puberty for boys as well. While most of us just ride it out, regular showering and a balanced diet can reduce breakouts. This next sign may be a little awkward to talk about, but most boys experience it, so it's important to understand. From from puberty onwards, boys and men can become aroused in their sleep and experience an involuntary ejaculation or wet dream. Most of us don't notice when it happens until we wake up and discover the evidence on our sheets or pajamas. It's completely normal and just a way our bodies expel old sperm cells from the body to make room for new ones. If you want to know more, check out our full video on wet dreams. Links in the description below. One minute you're the lead soprano in the school play. The next, your voice resembles a teenage Darth Vader. What just happened? As boys get older, testosterone causes the larynx to grow and the vocal cords to thicken. This causes a boy's voice to deepen, often quite quickly and dramatically. But it's not always a smooth transition. As a boy's voice breaks, it can pop back and forth from deep to high-pitched, even in the same sentence. This only lasts for a few months at most before the voice settles into its new deep pitch. So have you noticed any of these changes in your body? Keep in mind, everyone starts and finishes puberty at different times. You could be early, late, or right on schedule. There are no hard and fast rules with puberty, so just stay calm and enjoy the ride. That's all we have time for today. We hope you've learned a thing or two about the early signs of puberty. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions about puberty we didn't cover in this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.